All right, my lovely family. So today's topic is going to be more focused to my men. But if you're a girl, a woman, watch this video because you could show this to your man. Okay, so today's topic is how to build muscle with low testosterone levels. And the reason that I say how to build muscle with low testosterone levels is because I personally have lower on the lower end testosterone levels and I've managed to build muscle. And the reason that I want to make this video as well, because I've coached people with their fitness and I've even talked to guys and something still common that guys are purchasing are testosterone boosters. A lot of guys is like, I want to raise my testosterone to build more muscle. And yes, we know testosterone increases muscle mass, but a lot of people are buying these supplements with high testosterone. People are hopping on steroids, what GHD, TRT, to increase testosterone levels. And so sometimes also, there's times when guys go to the doctor and check their testosterone levels and they look like they're not as high as where they would want them to be. And they get discouraged because they're like, oh, they're in 300 range. Usually a good range is 400. They're like, oh, they're in 300 range. They're like, oh, I can build muscle. And then they get discouraged and not go about weight training and try to build muscle. And I want to make this video because I personally found out that I had low testosterone levels years into my training. I already had been working out for like seven, eight years. I thought I built a good physique, built it enough muscle, you know, got my biceps, I was looking good. And then I went to the doctor and he told me I had low testosterone levels. And when he told me that, I was like, well, that, that, I mean, that sucks. I got kind of discouraged and like, man, I wish I had higher testosterone levels, but it never crossed my mind to stop working out because I was like, man, if I build this physique with low testosterone levels, then it's really not messing up my progress. But if maybe if I found out that I was low testosterone, I had low testosterone levels right when I started working out, I think I might've, it really might've affected me and psyched myself out from what I could possibly accomplish. So short answer is yes, you could build a great physique, build a lot of muscle, even with lower end te testosterone levels. And I'll talk about levels right now, what is normal and everything. But first, let me, let me tell you a little bit of my experience, just so you can see this is going to kind of motivate you in how I even found out I had low testosterone levels. So years back in my early 20s, you know, my nipple, in the back of my nipple, I started like feeling sensitive. I was like washing my car and then I, I leaned over to my car and my, my nipple felt sensitive and it, it, it made me want to like touch my nipple area and I felt like a little ball in the back of one nipple, just one nipple. And I thought it was weird because it was like a little ball. and. And I was like, man, that's, that's so weird. Like this nipple does not have a little ball. Like I could feel it. And this one did. And I did my research and they talked about this being gynecomastia, which is, is like having like female characteristics in your breast. It could be from hormone levels. And I looked it up and it says that 30% of males may experience gynecomastia, those symptoms, throughout their lifetime. So there's 30% that might experience that. And sucky me, right? I ended up experiencing it. And, you know, I looked at my research, I went to the doctor, and my doctor did labs. He wanted to see because usually those characteristics of having gynecomastia has to do with your hormone levels. Maybe your testosterone is too low with your estrogen is, is higher and it, it's unbalanced and you get those female characteristics. And they did my labs and I honestly looked for those papers because I really felt like I still had them and I can't find them. But I remember clearly the conversation with the doctor and he told me, hey, 
your, your testosterone levels are on the lower range. They're still within a normal range. He's like, don't, it's not like they're super low where you need to do testosterone replacement therapy or something. You're still in the normal range, but you are on that lower end. So let's just say this is the range. You know, you wanna be right in the middle or on the higher end. I was literally on the lower end. So we could say like low 300s. Low 300s, we would want ideally especially in your 20s, maybe 400 or above. Don't quote me on that, but just know that I was on the lower range of testosterone. So when we had that conversation, he said, hey, this could be because your testosterone is kind of lower. You could be experiencing those symptoms, but chances are that it could go away. He said, if that doesn't go away, we could do surgery and remove that little, that little bump. And thankfully, it went away after like a year. The gynecomastia went away. Thankfully, I, I didn't have to do surgery and it has never came back. But with that being said, my low testosterone levels are in the lower 300s back then. So I said, like I told you guys, I never got discouraged because I was already in eight years training hard. I look pretty decent. If you saw me, you know, back then, you're like, damn, you look good. So I was like, there is no way that testosterone is going to play that much. Maybe if I have higher testosterone levels, yes, I could even be more jacked. But I was jacked enough to know that if I keep training, I'm only going to get better. So me, from my personal experience, even with low testosterone levels, honestly, I haven't even checked them no more. I don't even care to check them because if I check them, they might be like, yeah, they're still low. I don't need to hear it. I don't care. I'm building a great physique already. So I don't even want, it's not messing me up, so I'm not even gonna go there to check my testosterone levels. So just know that if I have testosterone levels that are low and building muscle, so can you. And we're gonna talk about things that I think are giving me the great physique, even despite having low testosterone levels. We'll talk about that right now. So the things that I truly think has allowed me to build a great physique and still build muscle till this day, even with low testosterone levels, are these things. I have them written down here. And because I take these very serious, and I believe that if you really do this as well, you could still build a great physique and you don't even have to hop on testosterone boosters or any type of anabolic steroids or anything that might not be legal. You can naturally build a great physique even with the lower testosterone levels. So number one, to be honest, I think my intensity in the gym is very high. I take my training very serious. If you maybe catch me in the gym, you might meet, see me doing some, some weird faces. I'm not that guy that's like, yeah, rah! you know, I'm not screaming. You might see me quiet, but you can see my faces that I'm pushing my limits. So make sure that when you're in the gym, you're taking your sets to failure. If you're doing your chest, make sure you're pushing with the intensity because if you train your muscle to that specific failure, you're only gonna force it to grow. So make sure your intensity is there. Second, nutrition guys. Nutrition is gonna be so important. And one thing that if I, if I could say, you know, in this video about nutrition is make sure that you're getting plenty of protein. Make sure every meal you're having, always think about where's my protein in that meal? Breakfast, where's my protein? Make sure protein is there. Lunch, where's my protein? Dinner, where's my protein? Prioritize your meals around protein because it's gonna help you build muscle. So make sure that's one thing. With all the other healthy stuff that you should be doing with the healthy diet, but protein, make sure it's there. And then also while we're on, on nutrition, one of the things that I know that has helped me build my, my physique is I have spent time eating a lot of food in a surplus, meaning I'm eating more calories. So usually sometimes a person, since we're talking about kind of guys right now, we don't want to eat too much food because we don't want to get fat. I totally get it. I'm right there with you because sometimes I don't want to eat more and be like, yeah, I gain more muscle, but then I get fat and I feel insecure and not happy with my body. So it's kind of like a, a struggle that you're always working with. But I have spent time eating a lot of food where even if I don't look lean, like it's summer and I don't have a six pack and I'm feeling a little chunky, I still suck it up and, and eat a lot of food and a lot of protein to gain more muscle and that has helped me. A lot of times when guys do, try to eat very little because they always wanna stay lean, it's hard for them to build muscle and I actually spend a lot of years, like right now, I'm in a surplus. I'm gaining muscle. 
it's summer's here. I wish I had a six pack. I wish I could just cut down right now and go to the beach and have a six pack, but I'm not because I don't have a six pack. So I'm just going to write it out because building muscle is so important to me, especially because I'm a natural bodybuilder and I love competing. It's just part of my life. I will sacrifice eating more food and having still body fat and not looking and having a six pack in order to build muscle. So having a surplus, being in a surplus is going to be very helpful. And three, progressive overload. Just make sure that when you're going to the gym, make sure that you're progressing. Certain example, nice and easy example is if you're doing bicep curls and you're working with the 15 pound dumbbells, over time, be mindful that you're working with the 15s, eventually you wanna work with the 20s and then maybe the 25s. And then it doesn't always have to be increased weight, but maybe increased reps. So if you're working with the 20s and doing 15 reps, then maybe the next pro progression scheme should be instead of 15, do 16s and then 17s. So it doesn't always have to be up in weight. It could always be up in reps as well. But make sure that you're training to get stronger over time. That's going to help you build more muscle. And lastly, you have to have patience. <sighs> Man, you just have to be patient. And, and have faith that what you're doing is working. Thankfully, you get to a point, trust me, listen here. If you're barely starting or maybe you're fairly new, stick to it because you will get to the point where you're like me right now. And let me tell you what I mean. I've been training for, since my 20s, I'm 33, 13 years. I've been, yeah, 13 years of working out. I have seen how much my body has changed over the years because of me having faith and patience in what I'm doing that right now, day to day, I don't see the changes. I don't see them day to day or week to week or month to month. But it got to a point where I have no doubt that what I'm doing is working because it has brought me to this point after 13 years. So yeah, that sounds like a lot, but just trust me when I say just be patient. Just know that your hard work, you're cooking something in there. Inside your body, you're cooking up the gains, you're cooking up the muscle. You can't see it day to day, but it's working. So just have faith and patience that your hard work will pay off. So just keep training your butt off. All right, family. So that wraps up the video. I hope you find something useful. If you like the video, please press the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.